She was known as the Queen of Disco, who became a household name during the dance era of the late 1970s. The music icon would quickly go on to become the first artist with three consecutive double albums to reach number one on the U.S. Billboard charts, with five Grammys. But in 2011, Donna was struck with tragic news that she was diagnosed with lung cancer, not related to smoking. Unfortunately, after a courageous battle with the disease, Donna Summer died in May of 2012. She was 63 years old. And joining us now to help shed some light on this topic is cancer specialist and president and CEO of the Angelus Clinic and Research Institute, Dr. Lawrence Pirro. Welcome back. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Pirro. Dr. Pirro. Dr. Pirro. My favorite cause of doctors. Let, let's jump right into this because we typically think of lung cancer in smokers. What are the chances, if you're a non-smoker, you can get this illness? Well, it's relatively infrequent. About 1 in 10,000 non-smokers get lung cancer. Overall, about 10 to 15 percent of lung cancers that occur occur in non-smokers. But when they do, two-thirds of those are women. Now, it was reported that she also thought that maybe she had been exposed to some toxic chemicals as a result of 9-11 and the terrorist attacks. It, it, would that be possible for her to get lung cancer? Well, certainly one of the environmental risks of lung cancer are, you know, air with a lot of toxic chemicals and particles in it. But usually that risk is breathing air like that over long periods of time. We don't generally think of one exposure like that in so much in that way. But, you know, of course, radon is a, is a high risk factor. That's an odorless radioactive gas. And while I don't haven't read a lot of reports about how much radon was detected in that environment in New York. It's possible that radon may have played a role. This is a really interesting thing because it is right up there as the next cause of cancer. And radon is this completely odorless, tasteless gas. It's radioactive. It's generated out of the earth. And it accumulates under some houses. And so it's pretty important to have your house and your environment checked for radon because there are ways to to uh, put systems under the house to blow the radon out and reduce your risk. Well, let's talk about what people should look out for, symptoms. We've got the, the cough that doesn't go away. That's probably a really common one. What else should people well, worry Well, the, the other thing is that coughing up blood, you mm -hmm. know, and that's a, that's a tricky one and a complicated one. It's scary when it happens. Similarly, weight loss is a very common one, a loss of appetite and, and, and doing poorly in that sense. These are all, you know, signs in general, but it can be very subtle. And I think one of the really important things is that with lung cancer, certainly if you're at risk, initially probably no symptoms. You know, when you start coughing up blood, that means that theoretically the tumor has eroded into an airspace. You know, you, you, you have to be aware of these things because the, speci the symptoms can be very nonspecific. But let's go through the treatment regimens that are typical for lung cancer. Well, the, your best hope is that you would discover lung cancer early. So it's a solitary nodule. There's no spread to lymph nodes. And in that situation, you can remove it with, surgically, and there may be nothing else to do. If it has spread further, then you may need some chemotherapy in addition, or you may need, may need radiation in addition to try and cure it. And of course, once it's spread outside of the lung area, or if it's very advanced in the regional areas, it's, it's often not curable. So as we were pointing out earlier, finding that nodule early on is your, is your biggest thing that you need to be doing. 